is up you guys welcome back to my channel so for today we are at the cottage and we're gonna pop on a movie on the TV we're gonna make a fire and we are going to decorate so you're gonna decorate with me which is very exciting but in a, in a different space so I have this huge box of decorations that I've packed from home that are all in here so the theme is like this plaid situation I did a full unboxing of everything that I got as well as a video about the tree. So the tree ended up coming here. I think this is where we're gonna place it so that we can kind of enjoy it in the living room. And yes, we will block this entryway, but it's all good. We've got a plaid tree skirt happening, like the cutest things, like everything is plaid. These are for the washroom. These are for, I'm gonna set the table. We've got tree skirts. We've got different light options because the tree is that symphony tree with all the colors, just in case we wanna do like a warm white. LED color, it's gonna be perfect. And we're going for like plaid country chic with like branches and we have all the things. I just hope that it's enough and that we don't have to drive into town to go look for stuff. Andre's looking at me like, do we have to go somewhere? And Carl's gonna help. Carl's at the cottage. We're at the cottage? So we've got the big tree here, which I think will be perfect for the space. This is that symphony tree that we did the big unboxing for, so I'm excited. I'm gonna take you through all this. I'm gonna make myself a peppermint mocha. We're gonna have a lovely morning and decorate and get all cozy by the fire. I'll just need Andre's help to build a fire because it's a real fire. It's not just a switch that I have to flick on. So we will start. If this is something you wanna see, which I'm guessing it is, then just keep watching. just discovered this if you have this tree so this is a symphony tree the one with the music that plays if you want just a warm glow so I just put a bunch of lights in this tree that is not the lights that I put in the tree it comes pre-lit with warm white light so I thought that if you didn't want it to do the symphony part and you just wanted it to stay a steady glow that was an option it is so it truly is an amazing tree so you press the I guess infinite like the circular button and then it can either do multicolor, it can do a warm steady glow, or then it can twinkle. I love this setting. I think that's so pretty. So all of the lights that I just put in the tree are totally useless. I'm gonna take them out of the tree and use them for decor somewhere else. But that's so pretty. That's gonna be so perfect. I love it. I think a couple things we're gonna do is I underestimated the fact that we have to decorate the entire tree all the way around. At home, it's usually tucked in a corner or up against the wall, so I literally just decorate the front. So we needed more decorations. I also think I'm gonna tuck it up against a wall somehow. Andre's gonna help me with that. But we went out and about to get a couple fillers. So in the most inexpensive way that I could figure out how to do that, I'm gonna do like what I do at home and stuff the inside of the tree with some red balls just to make it look more full. And then, 
Oh, I just got this. This was like on clearance, but I figured it totally goes. And this is what we're gonna do. So I had actually ordered these from Michaels and they never showed up, they were canceled. And I found the exact same things at Canadian Tire. So obviously just a hardware store, but they had some good stuff. So this is the same type of, what's it called? Holiday decoration. Well, use your words, friend, a mesh. This is what I use on my candy cane tree at home. I have a red one and then I push it in and out of the tree and then I have a ribbon that goes over top. Now, would I have liked plaid ribbon? Yes, but beggars can't be choosers. So I got this ribbon, which I really like it. So there's like a light red underneath and then a darker red, like a felt kind of finish on it. Like, I think that's gonna be so pretty. So I got three of these. So that should take me pretty far and that's gonna stuff the tree. And I'm gonna do it just like I do at home, like an in and out kind of motion. And then what else did we get? Oh. So there's three dogs in our family. Carl has a half brother and half sister, Thomas and Olive. So Carl, Thomas and Olive. Carl, look, we got you this to match the theme. Isn't this the cutest? So we're gonna hang these over the fireplace. I don't know how yet. Maybe I should have gotten stocking hangers, but we'll do something. Do you like it? Do you wanna say hello? So plaid theme is going well, and I feel like now we have everything we need to keep going. I'm just gonna rejig the tree. Listen, it's an ongoing effect. Do you wanna say hello to everybody? Hello, everybody. <laughs> Are you enjoying the cottage with the fireplace and the movies? We're re-watching Jingle Jangle and having a great time and eating chocolates, mint chocolates, not you, me. All right, let's keep going. Okay, so I've put myself in my cozy onesie. This is all done and I feel like it turned out so well. So the mesh made like the biggest difference because it didn't look super full at first and then adding the ribbon on top and I love the ribbon and I love that it's not overly plaid. So in the end, the ribbon did turn out. We stuffed a couple of extra little pines in there to fill it up. And what I did is the, the backside of it doesn't have any sticks in it. So it has, still has the ribbon, so it doesn't look empty, but from the front, it's like fabulous. And then this little present lights up. I put the little lantern over here. I set the table. I feel like this is perfect. Oh, and the sled, I ended up putting it just in front of the fire here and putting some of the firewood in it. So it totally is very cottagey and perfect with the ambiance of the fire. But I love the tree and I love that I found that setting. So it was just that little circular motion icon and you can do a steady warm glow or 
this like twinkling warm glow, which is so perfect. So I'm super, super happy with it. Again, that's a symphony tree. So on Christmas Eve, whenever we're all here together, I'm gonna grab the remote and like when the kids see it and then it'll start like singing and everything. So it'll be perfect. So I will link the symphony tree down below for you guys again, cause a lot of you guys were messaging me looking for it. So it's available all over the place. I will link it for you. And that's what that tree is. And it like took two seconds to put together and I'll try and link like the tree skirt and the pieces that are in there. I absolutely love it. And I will also link the video that I did with the haul of all the stuff that I bought for this. But if you guys liked this and if you guys like the tree, definitely give this video a thumbs up. If you guys like to decorate with me, so they're going to continue in our own house as well. So this is a wrap for the cottage Christmas tree, which I'm very, very happy with. So it's snowing outside. I think I'm going to make another peppermint mocha or some eggnog or some gingerbread or something and get all cozy by the fire and plan our next video together. If you guys want to see a cozy day routine while we're at the cottage, basically in a onesie, let me know in the comments down below. I feel like that could be a different yet fun video for you guys to see. Make sure that you are subscribed to this video, thumbs up, and I will see you tomorrow. Bye dudes.